Your Excellency, my dear brothers in St. Dominic and sisters in St. Dominic, uh, I'm happy to be in one of my Alma Mater, Alme Matres, uh, as a honorary doctor of this institution. First of all, I want to thank Father Fessio and Ignatius Press for having produced an English translation, an English edition, uh, on, have I to say an American edition, uh, <laughs> of that book. Uh, Father Fessio was my classmate uh, in Regensburg, uh, where we both were students of a certain Joseph Ratzinger. Uh, yeah. And since then, uh, since then, uh, a great friendship has remained uh, between us and has grown through the, through the years. So I am particularly grateful for the work Ignatius Press has done through all these years. This was a gratis uh, publicity for Ignatius Press. <laughs> Uh, in July 19, um, uh, 2005, I had the imprudence to write a little, a little paper in um, a local paper, an American local paper. Uh, I think it was the New York Times, if I remember well. Uh, and this little op-ed uh, provoked nearly a tsunami <laughs> of discussion. Uh, I didn't expect that, but I should have been more prudent uh, addressing such a question in this country, in this newspaper. It is perhaps not so surprising that it raises a big discussion. Um, after that uh, tsunami, I decided to dedicate my annual catechesis in the Cathedral of St. Stephen's to this question because I received so many letters uh, insulting and approving and discussing and enriching letters that I decided uh, it deserves a more careful treatment than it is possible in an op-ed, uh, even in the New York Times. Um, and the result is this little book uh, I am honored to present today. First of all, uh, I want to express uh, my gratitude to science. I am absolutely not uh, natural scientist, I am a poor theologian, um, but I have always been interested in uh, natural sciences, despite my very bad qualifications in mathematics in high school. Um, and I must say I never, never have met any scientific discovery in all these years that has been in the slightest way contrary to my faith. But I have very often met uh, affirmations that are opposed to my faith and that had the pretension of being scientific, but they weren't. They were what we call in German Weltanschauung, ideology, in the best philosophy, but certainly not exact science. And therefore, the main intention, or one of the main intentions of this book is, please distinguish clearly what is natural science and what is reflection about natural science and its results. 
distinguish between science and natural philosophy or science and theology of creation. And we urgently need this distinction because very often in the debate uh, these lines are confused and I am certain that many conflicts do not come from science nor from theology but from a lack of philosophy of nature a lack of good here in this house I can say Thomistic formation <laughs> in philosophy it can also be another one but it, why not Thomism it is not so bad <laughs> We urgently need a clar clarification of what uh, really is the presupposition of scientific research, scientific methodology. I had the great honor to be invited to address the Physical uh, Society of Austria, the, all the professors or practitioners of physics in Austria, 300 people. And they asked me to address this whole debate. And I first of all insisted that we must, so to say, step back and look at what we are doing when we are doing science. And the main question I ask following in this St. Thomas and uh, a master I deeply appreciate, Father Stanley Jackie, the historian of physics and modern science. It is the question, why is it possible to make science? Why does nature respond to our questions? Why can we understand this response of nature? Uh, in the next book, this is already a publicity for the next book of Ignatius <laughs> Press. <clears throat>